amazing really with YouTube, just what's gone on really, just everyone turns up, just, I love it. Here we go. Okay, so as you can see the Dietsy's turned up here, it's a 40.7, so it's got a 4 tonne lift and a 7 metre reach. As you can see, just on the side there, the uh, lorry trap is just unloading the straps and it's got a, a JCB headstock on it, this model, so it can pick up all of our implements and uh, it's also as well got a set of pallet tines there as well. So it is all going off today, it is all kicking off in the yard. There's JCB still fixing the loader, but uh, look at this machine. It's got an electric window on the side, so you don't have to split the cab. The hydraulic jacks just lowering down, holding the trailer and then the ramps following down. Okay guys, so here she is, the Dietsy. She's a 40.7 Agri Plus Evolution 2. There is of course the new Evolution 3 out now. And big cab, as you can see. And it's also as well got the Rexroth joystick, which is quite nice. So I've just now, now got to go and get a bale of hay, the horses. And we can just put the window down here. On the left, electric window. The cab's actually quite good, got quite good visibility to be fair and also I've just noticed on the roof you've got a little window there just to let in a bit of air, that's uh, quite a nice little feature on a summer's day. Okay, so there she is folks, just uh, emptied the horse muck and uh, I've just got a bale of silage on here now ready to go and take to the horses, but there she is, the Daichi, or the Daichi. It's certainly got some pushing power, just when I was in the muck, it really did push well actually. Uh, obviously having a four tonne lift, it's quite considerably more than the 526, so it's a bit unfair to compare it to the 526, uh, but it is a four tonne machine, which is quite nice. I like the gearbox on the Daitsi so far as well, the gearbox is really nice, it's a hydrostatic system and you've got a high and low range there, so I'm just dropping it into the horse's yard and hopefully the bale will just stay in there, lovely. I've just got, as you can see in front of me here, the old stands for the old livestock box and I'm just using the Dietsy di di with the bucket to collect all of the stands because they've got to be put in the bucket so that they can be taken away and then I'm going to clear all of this area out here using the bucket and the Dietsy and we're going to make a level area for putting the new silage. So there's some of the old silage from last year and what I'm going to do is tidy all of this up for uh, making a new area, so uh, that's what uh, the first job here is. Right, one, two, three, four, I've got them in the bucket and I'll just move them somewhere else. So if we want to go into reverse, we can just simply bring back the reverse button and we're now in reverse. Visibility around is good. The exhaust at the back is quite big, that's the only thing I would say. But all in all, not a bad machine to be in. And what a time to, uh, for Dietsy to be able to send this out, it's brilliant. Okay, so I've got the Dietsy there and I'm just gonna scrub this area out now so that I can make a flat area for the new silage to go which has just been cut. So let's just see how the Dietsy gets on with this task.
Okay, so as you can see, I've just been scraping away a lot of this uh, soil here and a lot of these surface weeds I've been taking away. Um, during the winter months, this area here can get quite rutty and bumpy and uh, I've just leveled out this area here using the bucket and of course the dicey here and uh, so there's just a little bit of grass just to there to just tidy up and here I've just leveled it out where the new bales are going to go and uh, I think as well I'll have to take all of these old ones out and just move them to one side so all of this area here is normally where we bring the trailers in here and then we have a tractor taking the bales off wrapping them up here and then something stacking them normally away in, into the distance there so just on the stack there so uh, so it hasn't been too bad for the dicey this, the dicey this morning I don't know how you pronounce it actually I need to learn uh, but it's, it doesn't seem to be too bad a piece of equipment okay so pushing up with the dicey let's go let's get this muck pile pushed up <laughs> I've just noticed Maggie who's uh, one of our the dogs from the house has managed to somehow where have you been? She must have come all the way up from the house to the farm. You little devil. Maggie? <laughs> How on earth did you get up there? Come on, come off, come off there. I was just going to push it up. It's a good thing uh, I've managed to spot her there. Come on, Megs. Come on. Come on, Maggie. <laughs> come on. Here, here. She is a proper little mucky dog. Oh, Maggie, you are gonna stink. <laughs> oh, Maggie. To uh, take Maggie back to the house so she can sit in the daichi for the bit. And I'll pop you guys back on here. And uh, yeah, hopefully you'll be able to just see me popping up the, um, or pushing up, should I say, the muck. And Maggie, uh, the little devil, she's normally looking for rabbits or something like that. but. Uh, We'll just push this muck heap up anyway. Well, it certainly made mincemeat of the muck pile there. As you can see, the pile's been nicely stacked up now, just pushed up, and the uh, the dicey, I've just got a bit of muck left in the bucket there. But as you can see, here's the dicey. I'll, I'll just show you actually, uh, in the bonnet here of the engine. Oh, that is heavy. <laughs> oh, it hasn't got any, okay. It hasn't got any gas struts or anything, so I think you have to hold it up uh, by hand. Of course, that is quite heavy. Um, yeah, you just hold it up by hand, I guess. And there's a strut down there, I think. And then uh, the strut will hold the the engine bay up. But uh, sorry, yeah. Um, so here's the engine bay. It's got a Fiat powertrain engine, which is made in Italy. And as you can see, that's the engine there. And uh, it's got a huge hydraulic pump on it. I, I'm scared to drop this now. But... Jeez. 
no other way really. So here's the rear of the machine. You've got a, a big exhaust on the, the back. I must say I have found that uh, this exhaust here does slightly block your visibility. That is the only thing I have noticed about the back exhaust. Uh, but as you come around the rear, everything's actually, to be fair, nicely sort of packed in tightly. You've got some big rear weights on the back because this is the four ton model. And there's a huge fan in there, which I'm guessing is for cooling the hydraulics or cooling the radiator of some, a radiator of some sort. That's, I'm guessing why there's a fan at the back there. I could be wrong. Do uh, let me know if I'm wrong. And then there's a hydraulic tow hitch on the back for if you want to tow anything. And then here's the cab, which is pretty big actually for a tally handler to be fair. It's fitted with a set of Michelin tires. They're 460, so they're the same as the JCB, which we've got. And uh, here's Maggie. <laughs> Maggie. Hello, Maggie. <laughs> she's a bit uh, shy, I think, on the camera. So we'll have to make sure that uh, she she's moved out of the way in a minute. So uh, here's the cab anyway. And this is the Agri Plus 40.7 VS Evo 2. So it's the variable model. It's a four ton lift and a seven meter reach. Electric window on the side there. And as you get in, you see the nice Doitsy logo as you get into the cab. And then once you're in the cab, Maggie's just down there, so I'm gonna start it up. But uh, here's the steering wheel and uh, everything, like I say, is nicely laid out and it's relatively basic in here and you've got good visibility as well. Uh, so here's the, the Rexworth joystick, nice steering wheel, a radio. It's very simple, although you can change lots of different modes. You've got your steering modes just down there and then you've got your transmission modes here. And you've also as well, you can go into higher range, high or low range over here. You've got your electric handbrake there. So you use that every time you have to park up. This is actually fitted with the JCB Q fit on the front. And it actually smells this loaded like it's been on a pig farm because it uh, does smell like pig. Um, <laughs> just chuck that in there. Um, so as you can see on the boom, it's got these plastic bushings on the side and these big wedges on the bottom, I believe are to catch the boom as it's coming down. Uh, I'm not entirely sure as to why they've put that on there. I guess they just want to keep the boom nice and level, nice and straight. That is the, um, maybe the Italian's uh, design logic on that one, um, but it's quite interesting. And as well on the roof, this model is fitted with the LED lighting package on the roof and on the boom, but the side lights are actually bulbs. But uh, I would like to see at night how good these are. I'm sure they are really, really good. And they're very, very handy, especially when you're at night and you don't want to be changing any bulbs. That's a bit of a nightmare. So there we are, it's just a quick one today. Thank you very much to Johnson Brothers and to Daichi for sending me this telehandler. And uh, yeah, what a good time it's come out. I'll take the uh, bucket off and we'll be getting some bales in soon with it, which will be absolutely fantastic. It's now just started spitting with rain. I'm, I'm now gonna go and find Maggie the uh, mini sausage dog, which has just ran off somewhere again. And uh, and then I've got to go and uh, take my calves out. So uh, stay tuned for that. And as always guys, do comment, rate and subscribe for plenty more videos to come.